Minecraft Live 2024 just wrapped up and they revealed a ton of stuff to us. That adds a new biome. I bet it's gonna be the Pale Garden with the creaking. That's my completely original concept. So here's every single major announcement that they made in one place. First of all, we have the two major update drops officially shown to us. Starting off with the cooler second one, we have the Pale Garden and the creaking. You've probably seen the leaks about these guys. The Pale Garden is a quiet new biome inside of which your music will completely stop. Instead being replaced by this discomforting ambience. While exploring this place during the day, you may find it oddly charming, as everything in it has a uniquely desaturated style. And the biome comes with a brand new willow wood set, which is amazing for builders because it's completely white. Plus the willow wood isn't the only flora that thrives here. From hanging moss, which gives this place its really odd charm, to a brand new pale moss type, which even comes with its own carpet moss, which also grows up walls. That is genuinely so cool. I was freaking out. Oh my God, that is so cool. It climbs up blocks. It's got different block states to climb up blocks. That's so cool. It is truly like no other biome that's in the game right now. And that's just proven more during Nightfall, where you'll meet the brand new Creaking mob. This guy can only move when you're not looking at him, like a weeping angel. And he's lightning fast. Is it he? Am I, am I misgendering a tree creature? And if that wasn't scary enough, you can't even damage this dude. The only way to kill a creaking is by finding the creaking heart, which it'll be linked to, lodged inside of a nearby tree. Giving this biome a very unique new combat encounter, which I think the game is really needing right now. This type of thing has just not really been done before in Minecraft, aside from mods, but you know, mods are awesome, so. Once you break a creaking heart, you can place it down anywhere you want. And as long as it's nighttime, Maybe I should go into monster hunting. I'm clearly very good at it. It'll summon another creaking puppet to hunt down anything nearby. Mm. It's got a nice ring to it. Well, sorry to interrupt the show again. Now back to Minecraft. Ah! <laughs> Though this does include you. So maybe, maybe just be careful about that. Then we also had another update shown to us, which is coming sooner than that one. Bundles and bravery. Just finally implementing the bundles that Mojang have been testing for years. And with the way that the game's getting updates now, this will make inventory management so much easier as they just keep adding more and more items. And not only that, but Bedrock Edition is finally getting hardcore mode after 13 years of it being a Java exclusive. Then after all of that, we got a deeper insight into the Minecraft movie. And honestly, what the hell? This closer look really did change my view on the film. I know it might still be a hot take and some parts of it are definitely gonna be a little bit cringe. Like this clip of Jack Black just proved to me that Steve is legitimately just, this is a crafting table. <laughs> Sweet blade. Gonna be Jack Black. I am Steve. But that aside, the movie itself definitely looks like it's in capable hands. And we even got a mention of the modding community in there too. Such a big part of Minecraft has been the creator community and modding. So we thought that Henry, the Henry character could represent basically the modder, the person who takes the vanilla game and tweaks it. And I just freaked out on stream. Modding in the Minecraft movie! We're getting modding in the Minecraft movie! Big major overreaction, not gonna lie. And whether or not that means we're getting modding showcased in some way in the movie, well, I, I guess time will tell. But just look at these set designs. I feel like the characters have been characterized a lot more with this insight. And honestly, by the looks of it, the trailer just didn't really showcase the movie very well. Because after seeing this Minecraft live segment, I am genuinely hyped. And then besides that, and the fact that Mojang are switching to multiple smaller updates a year, we also got the diamond minecart himself. Hey everyone, I'm Dan TDM, and I've been making Minecraft videos for 12 years. The rats mod in an official Minecraft broadcast, Jeb holding his power levels back in the arena. We're gonna go to our very last challenge. Let's Jeb, do you do are gonna fight okay. Notch in the arena to the death. Yeah. So we've built a full arena. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> and a brand new Villager News animation, which is always a welcome sight. I, I love Villager News so much. So yeah, if you missed the show or just wanted a refresher, there you go. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.